There are absolutely zero benefits to taking steroids. Let me convince you. First and foremost, no, I'm not talking about any personal experiences. However, I have been in the industry for 12 years, personally lifting for 9 years, and been in competitive bodybuilding for over 6 years. So why exactly am I myself giving an opinion about there being zero benefits to taking steroids? One more thing I will add is I've personally been tested by WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency, and am a lifelong natural athlete. So again, we're going to backtrack. Why am I making a video suggesting that there are zero benefits to taking steroids? Now, I think we can all agree on one thing, that we go to the gym, we lift, we train, we are in the health and fitness space, because we ultimately want to become healthy and fit. Are we on the same page so far? I think so. So, taking steroids immediately contradicts this notion, right? It immediately contradicts this notion. There is nothing healthy about steroids. There is nothing that screams healthy about steroids. It's all 100% unhealthy. It is all synthetic. Your body should not be going anywhere near that crap. Let me begin on a very strong point. Again, I think we're gonna agree here, but by the age of 60, we ultimately want to be wiping our own bottoms, eating and clothing ourselves. We don't want anyone else doing that stuff for us. That is no one else's job. That is another reason why we all enter the gym for the first time, decide to exercise for the first, for the first time and begin on a consistent, healthy training regime not to gain the fastest amount of muscle in the least amount of time. That is not why. Not to see how big we can get. That is not why. Not to inject as much crap as possible and to see side by side who is bigger on stage, who can take the most crap. Yes, I am referring to the unhealthy amount of rubbish that the Olympians, people on the Olympia stage are taking now not solely just the Olympia stage, but all the unnatural federations, all the untested federations promoting this rubbish, promoting this crap. And they're not the only people promoting this unhealthy plateau into what I would only assume as a Russian roulette of your own life. Your favorite fitness influencers are doing the exact same thing. Even when it comes to your favorite fitness celebrities, they all promote this crap as well, promoting that they are natural, to sell you whatever it is that they are selling you. Usually it's a service, an item, whatever it is, I don't care, I'm just here to state my opinion. And here to tell you clear as day that you should not be falling into this, these tricks that these people are trying to sell you. They are a stain on the industry. And I don't say that lightly. There are a handful of people that I wish I could name, but this is not what this channel is about. I'm just stating a very obvious fact, this is my opinion at the end of the day. You can agree, you can debate this, I don't really care. But what I am stating are my opinions. Now, let's get back to why there are zero benefits. You might see that, what I just mentioned, as a benefit, a financial benefit. However, in life, and you may have learned this already, or you definitely will learn this eventually, nothing comes free. Nothing is fast that shouldn't be fast. And what do I mean by that? If someone wins the lotto tomorrow, the lottery, or whatever it is called in your, your country, if someone goes to gamble and wins a lot of money, do you really think that that, that that changes their habits? There's a reason why the majority of people who win the lotto go bankrupt and go back to square one within the first two to four years. The same applies with people who take all this rubbish, all these steroids. They inject, 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 and yes, they blow up like a balloon, but all it takes is a little pin and they go back to square one. Unfortunately, the reality of steroids are that you go back worse than where you started because now you have to take additional substances, additional rubbish in order to get back to the standard levels that you were once at before. Another thing, when it comes to the speed of things, Extrinsically, you may have more muscle than someone who is natty, i.e. myself. Extrinsically, you may get more results faster than, i.e. someone who is natty like myself. 
But the reality of the situation is you have not developed the habits, you have not developed the skills, you have not developed the basic knowledge required in order to maintain that physique once you stop taking that rubbish, once you get off or can no longer afford it in most people's instances. Now, all it takes is one, one dose or one of whatever these people decide to take to ruin your entire life. Even when it comes to TRT, now TRT stands for testosterone replacement therapy, and there are some decent reasons of why someone might, might go down that route. However, I even disagree with that completely. I do believe, unless it is medically diagnosed, legitimately medically diagnosed, that no one should be touching any of that rubbish. Because again, once you start and then you decide it's not for you, you jump back right back off, your levels plateau to levels that you could not conceive. Long story short, they are worse, or you, you end up worse than you were when you first started. Some more obvious reasoning as to why there are zero benefits. Someone who eats a particular food and may see results from a particular food, it's the same as a steroid. So if person A injects something and has no side effects, person B does the exact same thing in the exact same manner with the exact same brand and has a severe reaction, do you understand what my point is? So if I eat or consume something that is perfectly fine for me, like a diet, right? That is why every human body is different and unique. Diets don't work for person A like they do for person B. What is clear as day, however, is the fact that your lifespan will be shortened by an average of what? What is that? What is the stat now? 40 years old, people are dying at bloody 30. There are more deaths by friggin' steroids that I can list on my bloody hands from popular celebrities and influencers in the media recently. So again, you're playing Russian roulette with your life. There are unpredictable side effects. There are no financial benefit, really. Because, I mean, I don't even think the Olympia pays their athletes that much money. And I don't even think the top 10% of people make enough of a financial living in order to justify it. That's an important point, actually. Here's a good way to put it. The Pandora's box has opened. Once you begin, once you take your first dose, the Pandora's box has opened. Meaning, there is no limit to the amount of bullcrap that you will justify taking. As a natty, it's easy. Human anatomy has developed in such a way to where we have a genetic limit, a genetic potential. Yes, I actually believe that I can still consistently progress year after year after year, even if it's 0.111%, I'm still progressing. I'm still, still seeing increases in strength. But when it comes to people on roids, a good example actually is Ronnie Coleman. My goodness, that bloke didn't know when to stop. He kept breaking record after record after record, taking new crap after new crap after new crap after new crap, after new crap until by golly, by golly, he wiped out the competition for how, how many years was that? Seven, eight years straight. Now, that example I'm using because that is a perfect example of the Pandora's box. That guy is bigger than me. I must take more. He is bigger than me. I must take more. This new compound, compound came out. I must use it. I must beat my competition. I must take this in order to compete. Doesn't make sense, really, does it? Doesn't make sense. You add this new thing, unpredictable, life shortens, you're worse off in every single possible outcome. Again, as a natty, it's easy as day. Easy. I hit my macros, I hit my numbers when it comes to the gym, when it comes to exercises. I compete an equal playing field on the stage. No one's taking nothing. Everyone who comes first to third is tested by WADA. It is an equal playing field. At that point, it may come down to genetic uh, genetic inserts and orientations, meaning the size of a muscle in comparison to someone else on stage. Who bloody knows? All I know is, as a natty, I can comfortably and confidently say, I go on stage working to the 100% of my capacity, knowing that I did everything in my power in order to win. Not as one of those people taking roids, thinking at the back of their head, that by golly, if I took 
100 milligrams of this and 100 more milligrams of that, I could have won. By golly, if I had that new substance, I could have won. <sighs> I hope I convinced you here today, ladies and gentlemen. I've spat everywhere. I've ran out of breath on a few occasions. But I've convinced myself after that. I've convinced myself. I've reconvinced myself. There should be zero reason why you should fall into, into the temptation from any of your favorite bodybuilders, any of your favorite fitness influencers, any of your favorite celebrities who are on this garbage. If you learned something, like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next episode.